Well, it wouldn't be summer without a lineup of stellar creature films on the big screen. And The Meg is here to remind us that sharks are still the creature to beat. Described as Jaws on steroids, The Meg is a hilarious take on the typical shark thriller. With Hollywood heavyweights like Jason Statham and Ruby Rose, the film is stacked to receive some phenomenal reviews from moviegoers and shark lovers alike. The sharks are big right now. People are yeah. like the shark week. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a huge cultural phenomenon. Because uh, there's, there's no greater predator than a shark. There's, there's, they're just a pure like hunting and eating machine. And I think they're still quite mysterious. I mean, the whole ocean is still very mysterious when you look at how much research we've actually done into it compared to, you know, how much that we've done more research into outer space. The sharks are iconic for uh, so much. And yeah, fear is a big one. But they sort of represent everything badass about nature. And I think we fear them but love them. Following the lead of diver Jonas Taylor, a crew of researchers is confronted by a massive prehistoric shark called a megalodon, some 300 kilometers off the Chinese coast. Despite the extinct species being notoriously known for its mighty bite, Jason wants people to know not all sharks are out to get you. I think people just assume that they're savage killers and they're just waiting for people to get in the ocean and be eaten by a shark, and they're not. Most attacks are, are mistakes. Uh, most of the shark attacks are done on the surface. They're usually perceived as a seal or something else, and they have a bite. They don't like the taste. Usually people bleed out and die of, you know, loss of blood or something. So I think people just understand, if you're naive enough to understand what most people believe, is that, that sharks are just out there waiting for food, and we're the food. And that is just one of the biggest misconceptions. Next week, we'll be hearing more from Jason and his co-stars about the challenges involved with filming in the water. Now, before you look it up, you can take a bite out of the Meg in theaters on August 10th. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown.